So this is going to be an Oracle 3 card you pick, and I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please like, and if you can subscribe, that'd be fantastic. It helps me an awful lot. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. It felt like it was time for a spiritual cleanse. So let's have this Oracle uh, three card uh, you pick and, uh, and just uh, relax and see what the cards have to tell us. So these cards are the ancient Italian tarot. These are Los Scarabio cards and um, they're very interesting. What happens here, if you're used to, they harken back to like the 15th century, the mid 1400s where um, uh, tarot is, is, is it, supposed to have uh, originated and uh, the guidebook that comes with these is not too difficult to read although the writing is kind of small but it does come in several different languages so uh, you can look that up and see uh, if your language is here if it's not uh, English is your first language um, so it's a useful little guidebook although although generic and uh, the cards themselves are beautiful actually the backs of the cards are nice the size of them is, is useful and then but the, you'll see here that the divination of these cards, uh, you really have to know uh, your Rider weight system to make sense out of a lot of these cards. The court cards and the major arcana are not too hard to figure out that what they are and who they are. But uh, some of these uh, other cards, you know, it really takes a, being familiar with the deck and knowing your uh, system that you're going to use to uh, um, to come off as as if you know what you're saying about these cards. So there's that. So and you know these cards were originally created. Uh, for playing a game called Tarachi, I guess is how that's pronounced originally, and then they sort of uh, became uh, divination cards later on. So I like to, and I have a thing about my cards is that I really don't like them to come out upside down because I'm not confident in my divination of upside down cards. But so that can be an issue with some of these because you don't really know, and I guess it doesn't matter with these if they come out inverted or not. But um, so that's what you've got if you're thinking about getting these cards. Um, that's what you're going to uh, deal with there. So this today's uh, kind of spiritual cleanse will be this Oracle three card that you pick. I'm going to use the same deck for the Oracle as I do. Wow, they really want to start working today as I do for the um, Dyadic Cross uh, in the end for each of the uh, three uh, Oracle cards. So, um, you know, clear your mind, take a deep breath. Let it out slowly. Close your eyes. And just kind of think about, look at this. These cards are really ready to start working. Okay, one more shuffle. Then a spread. And we'll take three of these out for the three card oracle you pick. Each one to later be finished with a diet across. So we're going to put them here. And now you can decide which or which which of these cards, uh, if it's one, two, or three of them, uh, will help you with whatever is on your mind right now. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Remember, you can stop the tape and take a minute uh, and just calm yourself. Maybe get a glass of water, a cup of tea, uh, just clear your mind. One, two, three, and we'll start now. So if you chose number one, um, this is the Three of Cups, and that's a lovely card to get. These are Three of Cups are celebrations. Um, so this uh, would, uh, you know, cups are always a, a passion, an emotion, and something important to you. They carry a lot of weight. And we have three lovely cups here that tell you that there's going to be some sort of a joint celebration, or should be, or can be, uh, if you just take a minute and, um, and ponder that. We'll do a full diet across on that in just a moment. If you chose the number two card, then that card is the two of are these swords i always have a hard time with these with these cards 
Yeah, these are the Two of Swords. And the Two of Swords just tells us that um, we have to make a choice. We have to decide which way we're going to go and, uh, and how we're going to get there. And what are we going to use to guide us there? So that's the number two card, if that's what you chose. And then the number three card for this oracle you picked is the uh, Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands speaks to us of um, short-term planning. You know, making a goal, stepping off in the direction to get that accomplished. So all of these cards are very positive cards today, if that's what you chose. I would say all of these are yes cards. They all are talking about uh, uh, celebrations, um, moving, moving forward, and uh, making choices. So we'll turn them back over now, and then we'll take this first one as the signifier for the dyadic cross right here. So if you chose number one, we're going to pull five more cards uh, for this uh, explanation of this card for you. I hit it cross. Five cards. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, diet it cross. Explanation for you for this uh, oracle and kind of cleanse today. So the signified card then. Uh, for you, for this question, for this issue, for whatever's on your mind, if you chose number one as your card, is the Three of Cups. And like I said, it's always uh, celebrations, um, but in a smallish kind of a way. Um, it's, uh, this can pretend healing. Um, it can even speak to uh, weddings, um, sharing, and it brings to mind friends. So the um, challenge to this then is, oh, look at that, the devil. So the devil card is a very interesting card to get uh, for these celebrations. And it's easy to see how uh, celebrations with friends could lead to some devilish intentions. So let's make sure that if we are, uh, uh, you know, raising the cup, that we keep a check on those uh, lesser uh, intentioned uh, feelings that sometimes can come along with a little too much. Uh, the base of that reading for this uh, Three of Cups for today's Oracle is the Three of Swords. And the uh, Three of Swords uh, is uh, let me think i can uh, let me remember what the three of swords is three 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 of swords am i gonna have to use my cheat sheet again i don't know so it's um oh yeah this is the one that's usually three swords through a, 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 a heart so yeah again look at the caution that we have to take here let's have the celebrations but the three of swords speaks to maybe a broken heart uh hurt emotions um some sort of a shortcoming uh that we feel and, uh, you know, sometimes when your heart is broken, it may not be the intention of, of the uh, thing that caused that broken heart. Remember, someone's always looking to get in and take advantage of our situation. The past of this reading, then, ah, is the Ace of Swords. Wow, this is really strong uh, in, uh, in swords. So the Ace of Swords is a great big offer of truth. It's an offer of, of justice. It's following the rules. And this one is even crowned. Uh, with uh, a crown and laurel and celebra ce celebratory ribbons. So this um, this uh, offer is kind of what got us started on this uh, celebration, this big justice, this big um, um, guidance towards the right way is what got us started on the celebration. Let's not get sidetracked and, um, and hurt anyone. In the sky of this reading is the uh, King of Spades, and uh, which is swords and the king of swords again is very much in control of everything that happens to him uh in his life he's he's holding this uh sword of truth and justice uh with some determination and uh so let's be that king the um likely outcome of this issue for you then is going to be ah okay so this is the page of cups the you know cups like we said and that's how we started out are emotions and he's even taken the lid off of this cup to offer it up and say, look, I'm not sure what's inside here because he is the lowest of the court cards. He's a fellow bringing this idea, bringing this uh, notion to the court for consideration. And so he's offering it up. And uh, if this page were, were uh, scared of what he thought might be inside, he wouldn't be doing that. So let's make sure that we take that offer. Uh, and move forward with it. So just to recap, so if you chose number one, it's the Three of Cups, and that's a big yes card. Three of Cups is celebrations over this emotional, passionate situation. We have to be careful uh, that we're not uh, sidetracked uh, by our lesser intentions. And uh, 
the basis of this then started with some sort of a disappointment. And then um, the past was um, the truth and the justice uh, that was offered up without uh, reservation. We can be the king and in control of these issues. And um, we just have to have the courage to look at what's being offered to us, take a little sip before we move forward uh, and, and with uh, full celebration. So if that was uh, your card, the three of um, cups, and there we go. So now, put these back, and uh, I'm a little low energy today, and then talk about the second card in this lineup, which is the Two of Swords. Two of Swords is really deciding how you're going to get there. I always want to say two, swords are, the Two of Swords in particular are truth and justice. Uh, it can be health. Um, it can be rules. It can be guidance. But, and it can be uh, force also. But the, the Two of Swords um, can also kind of represent conflicting ideas and opposition and um, indecision. So definitely indecision. So let's uh, concentrate on this Two of Swords. It's a yes card because it's telling us let's move forward in this, in this idea. Going to spread these cards out and take five to further define this Two of Swords for you. And we'll see what sort of answers we get for that. So we'll make this a nice, neat little stack and go on to further determine the meaning of this Two of Swords, indecision, pick a path. Um, the challenge to that is the Five of Cups. You know, the Five of Cups is typically, you know, loss, uh, feeling as if there's uh, something uh, that uh, has been taken away from us, and uh, not always uh, recognizing that there may be something uh, left to us, some sort of emotional, passionate, uh, value-filled uh, reason to uh, to pick ourselves up and continue on. This is typically uh, depicted in a traditional tarot deck as a three cups spilled, two cups up. So that's what we've got. Two of swords make a decision. Uh, yeah, we may have felt, felt some disappointment, but we've got what it takes to continue this journey. The, the basis of this reading then is the king of coin. And so the king of coin, the king of pentacles, is um, very much um, comfortable with uh, his knowledge of his value. He recognizes that he can accomplish comfortably. Look at how relaxed and confident uh, this king is. And that's kind of uh, the base of this whole thing. Let's recognize our value and uh, comfortably uh, move forward without, um, without rushing, without uh, um, not taking a minute to look at uh, the situation in front of us. The past of that reading then is the Three of Coins and uh, the Three of Coins, I forget right off the top of my head, so let me look at my cheat sheet. And the Three of Coins is um, detail-oriented. Why can't um, apprenticeship? The Three of Coins, oh, but you know what this is, always means to me, is this means working together with, uh, with others for something for public display. Okay, so in the past, we had some sort of situation uh, that required uh, cooperation. And uh, then uh, we came to a decision point. Um, it was a little disappointing, uh, was the challenge to making that decision. Uh, in the sky of this reading, then, is the uh, Knight of Coins. That's very good because it's just what I said. The Knight of Coins, when the court uh, uh, tells this knight, listen, here's the value, and I want you to go out and defend it, he's going to do it. He's on a very determined steed. He's got his weapon ready, and his weapon can be the truth and the justice or the rules. And he's uh, got his eye on the uh, value uh, that's in front of him. So yeah, that's where we want to aim. We want to aim for the best. And then the, the uh, likely outcome of the whole thing is the Three of Swords. Now, unfortunately, that it, that can be disappointment. And um, disappointment for the Three of Swords, I don't know. I, we have an alternative uh, suggestion. Severing ties, heartache, loss, quarrels, hurt feelings. So it could be that uh, this uh, perceived loss uh, leaves someone uh, a little bit in the lurch. You know, I'm going to take uh, one more card to see if it gives us a little more definition on that. Um, that is going to be uh, the Ten of Swords, and the Ten of Swords is really stabbed in the back, just a complete um, end of the situation. So let's talk about it again. So the Two of Swords is making a choice, moving forward. Uh, we've had some, some lost intention here, but we've got something to pick up and keep going with. They started out 
as the uh, king of our value, understanding what this was worth. So that gave us the confidence to make a decision, uh, hopefully, to move forward. And in the past, we had um, working some sort of a collaboration um, that, um, that pr probably didn't go the way we want when we were aiming for moving this value forward. We came to an area with that disappointment of a uh, almost a broken heart, just more disappointment, and then finally that was the end uh, of that decision. You know, and the end of and the end of a cycle is good because that means that we have room to move forward. So now we'll go to the third card. If you chose number three, of course that's the two of wands, and that really brings to mind planning. You know, making some. Uh, putting together some ideas for the future, uh, setting off in that direction. And so the signal, oh, I put the card back in. Well, I might as well put this one back in too. You have to think that these things happen for a reason. So the two of wands, short-term plans, action, making things happen. <laughs> one, two, three. Four and five. Bringing things to fruition. Getting the ball rolling. Setting off in the right direction. That's the signifier card. The challenge to that then is the, okay, so it's the Page of Swords. And the Page of Swords, again, he's bringing this idea, he's bringing this truth, this justice, this rule, this uh, movement uh, to court. So, um, which works perfectly with uh, making plans. The basis of this reading then is the Four of Cups, and the Four of Cups is um, kind of something that may be made an offer that you're not sure of, maybe you don't want to uh, move forward with, but nevertheless, uh, when the you know the old saying is, when opportunity knocks, open the door. So that's what we have there. And the past of this reading is the Five of Swords, and the Five of Swords is typically. Um, selfishness, theft, maybe an abuse of power. Um, so, you know, it's feeling as if we've not been, uh, not the best thing, we've not been treated fairly. The sky of this reading then, ah, is the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune, I always love to see the Wheel of Fortune because it tells us that, you know, this cycle is moving on. And I always feel like if we're moving, we're going in, we're, we're progressing. Okay, so we're making progress. We're going in the right direction. You may come into some obstacles, but you know that it's always just a, a, a short piece of the trip, and the majority of it is going to be a progressive. And then the final outcome for this is the Three of Cups, just like that. It's funny that it should come up this quickly, but celebrations and with friends. So, yeah. So um, the Two of Swords uh, is short-term planning. We have the uh, authority of making that plans as a challenge to the short-term plans. Uh, here we have maybe an offer that we're not sure of. Here we feel have felt as if uh, we've been taken advantage of a bit, but the Wheel of Fortune is turning and usually in a positive direction because here we come out with short-term celebrations or uh, joint celebrations. So that's been that reading day. But you know, I feel, I feel like I haven't had enough for some reason. I think I'm just going to do a full uh, 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 Celtic Cross uh, energy read for this day for you. And this is really unplanned. I hadn't expected to make this full Celtic cross. But let's just do it. Let's see what comes up, up uh, with this. Okay. And again, the cards I wanted to kind of be a bit skewed today when I've laid them out. But we'll take six cards right off the beginning for this full Celtic cross for you today. And uh, while I'm doing this, you want to still be thinking about the issue or the issues that uh, uh, caused you to want to make a choice. The signified card for this is the world. Okay, the world is significant of the end of a cycle. And the end of a cycle always pretends the beginning of another cycle. And uh, I love these cards. Look how beautiful they are. This is the uh, that Italian uh, ancient tarot, and they're really amazing. But yeah, so the, the world card is a very auspicious card to start off with. This is all-knowing. We've completed the journey. We're full of knowledge, and we're ready to start off on something new. That's the signifier card. The challenge to that, then, is the uh, Page of Pentacles. So the Page of Pentacles, so this is very little worth. This is a fellow who's just bringing this, this idea of value uh, forward. And uh, so that, I would say, speaks to whatever the next part of this journey is going to be. The base of this reading, then, look at the cards repeat, is the Three of Coins. 
And the three chords, like I said, is co cooperation, putting something together of value to to promote uh, what we are, who we are, and um, so that's what we've got there. The uh, pass to this reading then is going to be, look at that, a great big ace of wands. This is a huge, raw, primitive offer of power, of, of motion, of moving forward. It's an idea, it's a plan that's fruitful, and we've taken it up, and we've decided to charge forward with that plan. So it all works perfectly with uh, this uh, world card and new beginnings. In the sky of this reading, we have the Six of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles is, um, oh gosh, my mind just went blank. Of course it did. It always does when I need it the most. Poor mind. It's not going to be long until it quits me altogether, I'm, I'm afraid. <coughs> but the Six of Pentacles usually speaks to us, always speaks to us, as a matter of fact, of sharing the wealth, distributing the value, understanding what needs to go there, what needs to go here. And it's another important step in when we're going to start off on a new journey after the completion of this old one. And then the likely outcome of this first part of this uh, Celtic cross now is going to be the uh, Knight of Wands. Okay, we're going to fight for what we uh, want to happen. And now we have a wand, a wand, a motion, an idea, a plan that is strictly um, uh, for use. This is for getting our point across. We want to show, um, we don't necessarily have to wield this wand, but we want to show everyone, look, I'm ready to make this happen. I want you to see this. It's a big plan, and that we're going to move forward with it. Um, I'm going to make this horse continue this journey. Now, for the last four cards of this uh, Celtic cross, the self of the issue is the king of value. Again, repeat card from the other cards that we did. So the king of uh, pentacles is the, is the absolute ruler, comfortable ruler of his, um, of his value. And he's in the environment of, look at that, taking a moment. This is the hangman. I love uh, looking at these uh, cards in another language. But this hangman is absolutely um, made to stop and consider uh, what he's done. You're going to stay here until you understand the next move. Okay? So that's the environment that that's in. The um, hopes and the fears for that. Uh, okay, this is the hermit, and it's just a reinforcement of this, is that we're going to take some time. This is all full of ones. We're going to take the staff, steady ourselves. We're going to shine a light on the future. We're going to really contemplate about uh, what's uh, going to happen next to us. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing after full contemplation is the um, nine of wands. And the nine of wands is really uh, having felt uh, embattled. So it doesn't mean, just because it is, we've gone about this with some determination, doesn't mean it's not going to be without struggle. Uh, struggle is, a, is a, a growing force. It's something that moves you forward. It makes you, uh, again, reflect on the um, situations that brought you to this, uh, this battle. And any time we have to exert effort, it's always going to result in something worthwhile uh, in the end. So one nice reading for this Sunday, but it is telling us to get off our butts. We can do it tomorrow and uh, make this thing uh, move forward. So the takeaways from this today, I want to say, are we're at the completion of a cycle, we're going to move forward, and, um, and we want to do it with consideration, but understanding that we're in complete control of our value. Okay, So go about this with uh, optimism and with determination and, uh, and make it happen, whatever it is. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.